friends, it's me Jennifer. I hope you are doing well and today's episode is very special because today we are going to share about a talented actor who is multi-talented and multitasking too. He is Suji Sa. But before I start the video, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that whenever we upload any video of your favorite star, you can get the notification first. Suji Sa is a South Korean actor, rapper, ex-militant, government official, model and businessman. So has released several hip-hop singles. He has won many prestigious awards so far, among which his major ones are Best Actor at the 2009 Grimmet Awards, an honorable award chosen by the directors in every broadcasting station in Korea, and the Daesung Award at the NBC Drama Awards. Soji Sub is best famous for his roles in the television series What Happened in Bali, I'm Sorry I Love You, Kanan Abel, Phantom, and Master Sam. Let's know more details about his life. Soji Sub was born Born on November 4, 1977 in Seoul, South Korea. His nationality is South Korean and he belongs to Asian ethnicity. His zodiac is Capricorn, but his religion is not yet known. His parents divorced at a young age. He has one older sister who lives in Australia, but his parents and sister's name are still unknown. Jisab was introverted and insecure in his childhood and teenage years. So Jisab trained to become professional swimmer for 11 years and won the bronze medal at the Korean National National Games. After completing his high school, he did a major in acting from Changwon University. Before starting the brief history of his career, let me tell you a sweet small story he shared about how he entered the world of entertainment. So Jisa told that he didn't have any interest in becoming a celebrity, but because he loved hip hop so much and he did not want to miss the chance of posing with hip hop artist Kim Sung Jae, and that made him grow the interest to become a part of the entertaining world. So in 1990. He became a by chance jeans model. He accompanied by his friend to the modeling audition for a clothing line Strom. His friend was not selected while Soji was picked up. Just two years after being selected to model for Strom, he got his first television role. Jisab made his television debut in 1996 with a TV sitcom Three Guys and Three Girls. In 1997, he appeared in the SBS drama series Model. He did not get much attention or he did not get the recognition in his initial days. He appeared in plenty of TV series and in between 1997 to 2002, such as I Hate You But It's Fine, Because Of You, Cheers For The Woman, Delicious Proposal, Law Firm, We Are Dating. But his major role as a second lead in The Glass Sleeper gave him the much-needed fame and he gradually climbed the ladder of the success. In 2004, he had his breakthrough role in the critically acclaimed drama I'm Sorry I Love You, where he played a small street artist who has abandoned it by his parents and later adopted by a couple. He rose to fame with this role in 2008. After a long break, he came back with Rocket, a movie about a thug who was also a wannabe actor. It was a low-budget movie but became a major hit at the box office. His performance was appreciated by the critics and his fans. In 2009, after doing a handful of movies and television series, he starred opposite Zhang Ji, a Chinese romantic comedy, Sophie's Revenge. He later signed with Chinese talent agency Atian Entertainment to explore other markets. He returned to Korean drama in the same year with SBS Kane and Abel, which was based on sibling rivalry between two daughters. His performance in the series was very well received by the critics as well as the audiences and got him several awards and accolades. In 2010, he worked in the big budget Korean epic Road No. 1. The movie, the movie failed at the box office but opened opportunities for him to take his career forward. In 2011, he worked in melodramatic Always, which eventually was screened at the 2011 Busan Film Festival. The film became a part of opening ceremony of the festival. In 2012, he worked in drama Phantom, where he played the role of a workaholic detective. He also starred in a movie, Company Man, and later appeared in a horror flick, Master Sun, in 2013. In 2015, he again starred in a romantic comedy called Oh My Venus, where he portrayed the role of a celebrity trainer who falls in love with a lawyer and eventually heals her and himself on an emotional level. In 2017, he starred in Battleship Island, a historical action film. In 2018, he is set to star in Now I Will Meet You alongside Sonia Jin, who has also worked with So in 2001 drama Delicious Proposal. Because he loves hip-hop so much that he has in released his own singles, a few of his tracks are Lonely Life, Foolish Love. In March 2012, he released his first mini-album, Corona Bore 
playlist. In January 2013, he released another rap album, 6 p.m. Ground. In June 2014, he released his third hip hop album, 18 Years. And in 2015, he released another single, So Ganzi, for his fans. He has earned a number of awards for his mind blowing performances, including Best Actor at 2009 Grammy Awards for Cain and Abel, 45th Bexon Art Award for Best Actor Rock Art. In 2004, KBS Drama's Popularity Award for I'm Sorry I Love You. In 2009, SBS Drama Award for Excellence as an Actor. Third Asian Film Awards for Best Newcomer. Eighth New York Asian Film Award for Rising Star Asia Award. He also gets some achievement honors like he enlisted himself as a public relations officer in the military in 2005 in Mapo District. He also named the Goodwill Ambassador of Gangwon Province to attract more tourists to the place. A road was also named after him in the province that is Soji Sub Road. He was also selected to be the promotional ambassador to raise awareness against prevention of cyber crimes by the National Police Agency. Moving forward to his net worth, his major source of income is his career as an actor. He is well-known, renowned celebrity all over the Asia. Also, he earns as a hip-hop rapper, a model, and from his several business ventures. So is the owner of the CJ Foodbills, a twosome place. He has invested in art house films that import foreign films. So this a purchased a 231 square meters villa in the luxurious Hannam the Hills, located in the neighborhood of Hannam the Seol in Seoul, priced at 6.1 billion won. Soji Sub's estimated net worth is 16 million. Well, moving forward to his personal life, Soji Sub is a married man in 2019, so, con so confirmed that he had a relationship with former announcer and reporter Jo Yun Jung. This was the first time so publicly confirmed his dating and got married. On April 7, 2020, Soji Sub confirmed that he and Jo Yun Jung completed their marriage registration. They don't have any children yet, but they are enjoying their love life happily till date. According to the agency's statement, the newlyweds will also be donating 50 million won to good neighbors to provide tablets and smart devices to children who lack educational support. Well, there are some interesting facts about Soji Sub. Soji Sub is the National Water Polo member. Before he became an actor, Soji Sub trained to be professional swimmer for 11 years. He doesn't hesitate when it comes to his stand on women's rights. When asked about the recent Me Too movement and his thoughts on feminism, he said immediately, I support the people who have bravely made their voices heard. I think that everyone needs to make an effort to change things and create a better world. Soji Sub, the icon of sincerity and consideration because he always shows up at filming sites at least half an hour early. He is known to be especially considerate to his posters and stuff on the set. Soji Sub released his photo essay collection, Soji Sub's Journey, covering stories of his career and life on the road. Within 10 days of its release, the book hit the bestseller list and entered its third printing. He says there is a huge difference between 49 and 51 and he aims towards 51% of everything and that's why his favorite number is 51. So Jisab first got into the entertainment industry because he wanted to be modeled beside his hip-hop hero Kim Sung Chai, kick-starting his career. It's no wonder that he is left his own mark on the music sense. This officially confirms it. This handsome actor can do anything and be successful. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. If so, then please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. We will be back soon. Till then, keep smiling. Kamsamida.